watching an Alpo commercial. Olive, would you be a good girl and take care of the dishes for me tonight? Yeah, sure, Ma. What are you going to do? Uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm going to the laundromat. The laundromat? It was there last night and the night before. Well, I'm going again. <laughs> Anybody see my pocketbook? I didn't, Ma. Oh, I better left it upstairs. The funny thing about pocketbooks, they are never downstairs. They're always upstairs. Unless you're upstairs, then they're downstairs. <laughs> Who would Ma be washing every night? We wouldn't have that much laundry if we all stripped naked. Oh, spare me that thought. <laughs> uh, Arthur, ain't this your shirt? Yeah, but I thought she washed it yesterday. She did. It's clean. You sure? Is there any other time I'd be smelling one of your shirts? <laughs> Everything in this bag is clean. What's going on here? Guess where I found my pocketbook. Where? Right where I left it. <laughs> That's usually where they are. Well, I think I'll say good night. Good night, Olive. Good night, Ma. Good night, Arthur. Good night, Ma. Good night, Stanley. Good night, Ma. Did I leave anybody out? We're the only ones here. Oh, well then, uh... I'll just say good night. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, thank you. Well, good night, one and all. Now, you see, Stanley, that is strange. She almost forgot to take the clean clothes to the laundry. That's because maybe she ain't going to the laundry. Oh, yeah? Well, then where is she going? I don't know. Maybe she's going to the doctor again like she did on the QT a couple of years ago. Well, yeah, why'd she do that? Well, she didn't want us to know that she was getting hot and cold flashes because she thought it was malaria. Malaria in Brooklyn? Hey, you know what, Stanley? Maybe she's working somewhere to make a little extra money. Yeah, you know something? If that is true, it's all your fault, Arthur. Me? Yeah. My mother's working nights. You ain't even working days. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, Hi, Mommy. Mommy. How you doing? Hey, Stan. Want to shoot some pool? No, no, I'm not in the mood. Yeah, what's the matter? Uh, well, we're kind of worried about Mom. Yeah, she's acting kind of strange. She's been going out nights, and we don't know why. Why? Yeah. Why should she hang around the house when she got a date? A date? What are you talking about? Last night, I saw your mother going into a bar. <laughs> into a bar? Yeah, with a guy. With a guy? Yeah, a guy and a laundry bag. <laughs> the laundry bag we know about. Tell us about the guy. Seemed like a nice guy. How'd you know that? Well, when I was going in the bar, he held the door open for her. You don't find too much of that in Brooklyn. All right. Where is she? Where is she? It's almost one o'clock. She has never been out this late before. Stanley, maybe they went to a double feature. All right, but there's got to be a telephone. The least thing a mother can do is call. All right, she's here. Okay, and I'm going to ask her about that man. All right, no, no, wait. Please, let me handle it, will you? Let her tell us. <laughs> Hello, Ma. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Ma, where you been? Yeah. What's the matter? 
It is one o'clock in the morning. That's what's the matter. Miss Shoes in the hand. You didn't call. You had us all worry here. I would just say good night. Wait a minute, Ma. What? Sit down. What for, Stanley? I want to have a little chat. Now it's one o'clock in the morning. I, Ma, please. We haven't had a chat in a long time. We ain't never had a chat. That's sweet. Not me, Stanley. That was your father. He had a chat with you once about sex. But didn't do no good. Later on, he had to hit you. Set me back ten years. All right, come on. Sit down. When, when you please sit down? Well, just for a minute. <laughs> okay, Stanley, you start. Yeah, right. So how's everything going, Ma? <laughs> Fine, Stanley. Good, good. Um, well, we're through chatting. I'm going to say good night. Wait, Ma, you don't start off a chat with the most important part first. Yeah, you see what Stanley's getting at. Hey, Is Stanley it... knows what Stanley's getting at because I'm Stanley. <laughs> Look, Ma, you've been going to the laundromat uh, almost every night now, and we was wondering if there's something about this trip that you uh, haven't told us. Yeah, like, are you looking for new friends? Yeah, did you meet anybody down there? Yeah, like someone to talk to. Why are you asking me all these questions? Well, how else are we going to find out about the fella? <laughs> Olive, every time you open your mouth, it's another step backward for mankind. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What? That you put a tail on your own mother. Wait a minute. Wait a minute now. Bummy seen you going into that bar with that guy who held that door for you, all right? Oh. Now, look, Mike, don't get us wrong. We don't want to butt in or nothing. But after all, you are our mother. And uh, I promised Pop that I would look out for you. Don't you remember? Don't you remember Pop's last words when I bent over him? They're just getting a bald spot. <laughs> no, that was his next to last words. His last words were, Stanley, take care of your mother or I'll come back and kill you. <laughs> I remember. Okay. Now, you gotta understand. I mean, here you are going out with a stranger, your own family, don't even know who he is. Oh, he ain't no stranger. His name is Martin Wicker. When did you meet him? Last week at a bingo game. Bingo game. And what do you know about him? Well, I know he won a lamp and a bag of goldfish. <laughs> oh, well, that, that's some character reference. <laughs> it's more than Arthur came here with. <laughs> Is he handsome? Oh, Martin is a very good-looking man, but the first thing that attracted me to him was his beautiful speaking voice. <laughs> How did you know he had a beautiful speaking voice? All you ever heard him say was bingo. <laughs> so what? The first thing I ever heard your father say was, next stop, Times Square! <laughs> and we was married for 30 wonderful years. Okay, but it's one o'clock in the morning. I mean, uh, besides listening to his beautiful speaking voice, what else you do? Well, uh, we went to the movies, and uh, after, we went to Martin's apartment. You did? Yes. And? And he made me a cup of cocoa with a marshmallow in it. <laughs> and showed me pictures of his dead wife, which was taken when she was alive, of course. <laughs> is a very fine man who is a retired bookkeeper with no record of arrests and sometimes even though he forgets what he is about to say otherwise he is in full possession of all his faculties okay but i think we should have a chance to meet him no more sneaking out do you understand i want him to pick you up here next time he takes you out on one of your flings all right stanley all right now if the committee is through investigating the witness is going to get her beauty sleep. Now listen, now just listen. As long as we know who you're with, we don't mind you going out on dates, even if you are our mother and an older person. That's right, Ma. Like they say, just cause there's snow on the roof don't mean the fire's out in the basement. <laughs> Even if it is about me. Hi, Stanley. Hiya, kid. Where's Mom? She's um, upstairs getting dressed to go out. Before dinner? 
He's springing for a meal. This is going to be serious. Yeah, he's coming to get her and take her to the city. And then after dinner, they are going dancing at Roseland. I hope she remembers to put in her arches. <laughs> How's the soup taste, Arthur? It tastes like you made it. <laughs> That's Ma's recipe. But maybe I left something out. It tastes more like something fell in. <laughs> Oh, you look, uh, you look very unusual. Uh, what is with the, uh, what is with the head? That's a wig, Stanley, and the sales lady said it was me. And it looks more like Little Orphan Annie. I mean, that color? Well, I couldn't be too choosy on account of I got it at a sale for the low, low price of four ninety nine. You got a whole head of hair for four ninety nine? It comes from Hong Kong. Hong Kong. I've never seen a Chinese with red hair. Maybe it ain't real hair. Could be chow mein. Oh, oh, that must be Martin. Uh, Children, be nice. We will. Arthur, will you please swallow what's in your mouth? It looks like the sink backed up. Good evening, Martin. Hello, Iris. Oh, Iris, you... Iris, you, you got hair. I, I mean, of course you got hair, but what, what, what did you do to it then? Oh, I just tinted it to bring out the highlights. <laughs> I would like you to meet my brood as it was. This here is my firstborn, my son, Stanley. Nice to meet you. Well, so this is uh, Stanley. Mm. Well, your mother has told me a great deal about you. Uh, 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 you, uh, Stanley. Uh, Stanley. Stanley. <laughs> And this here is my second and last born, my daughter, Olive. Oh. How do you do, sir? Well, well, you see, it's just like I say. The pretty mothers have, uh, have, uh, 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 the pretty mothers have, uh, pretty daughters? Pretty daughters. <laughs> oh, thank you, kind sir. <laughs> and what is the, uh, who is this? I'm Shirley Temple's husband. That is Arthur, Olive's husband, my son-in-law. Oh, oh, well, uh, uh, haven't you been well? <laughs> Not for as long as we can remember. Oh, uh, have, uh, have you, uh, have you started a family? First, we got to start Arthur. <laughs> It's just a just a fine, uh, fine uh, looking family here. Fine, and why not? When you have a good looking woman for a uh, a uh, mother, yeah, for a mother, for a mother. Uh, this, uh, she, that's a fine figure of a woman here. It won't be long. It won't be long before somebody just just snatches her right up. Snatches her right up. Oh, Martin. Oh, that's the way it happens, Iris. People meet, they get acquainted, and before you know it, bingo! <laughs> I heard. Well, Iris, I uh, I think it's time to be going, if you'll excuse us. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'll help you with your tongs, yeah? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, we'll be going now. Uh, don't stay up. Yeah, oh, thank you, kind sir. Oh, it's my pleasure. <laughs> He's not a bingo player. His game is handball. You can't believe my mother. She's out every night till 12, 1 o'clock. Olive tells me that she wakes up 10 o'clock in the morning. I tell you, Bummy, under that red wig is a gray-haired teenager. So she wants to feel young and glamorous again. Glamorous? Look at this sandwich, will you please? She's falling apart, my mother. Here. Ham and cheese. Hey, 
stage there. How much do you know about this guy? Not much. But he's coming to dinner Saturday night. I'm going to find out exactly what his intentions are. Yeah, good idea. Who knows? He might be one of them fortune hunters. If he finds anything in my house, I'll split it with him. <laughs> Suppose they got married. Married. Maybe. Would your mother move out? It never occurred to me. I thought he would move in. I don't know. Well, it could work both ways. I'll tell you what. If they do get a place of their own, I got the perfect wedding present for them. Yeah, what? I'm going to give them Arthur. <laughs> Irish, Irish, I don't, I, I don't know how to tell you. This was, this meal was delicious. Absolutely delicious. You know something? You're full of... You're full of... Uh, full of what, Martin? Full of uh, surprises. Oh. oh! She dances, dances, like a chorus girl. And her hair, every time I look at her, it's a different color. Look at this. <laughs> but now, what do I find out? What do I find... What do I find out? What do you find out? That she can... Uh, this one worries me a little bit. That, that she cooks. She's a cook, a great cook. She cooks like a dream, this woman. Like a dream. Oh, I ain't that good, Mom. Oh, Iris, yes, you are. One taste of this, one taste, and it was bingo! <laughs> Until the apple pie. Apple pie? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Stanley, would you give me a hand in the kitchen, please? What? <laughs> give me a hand in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. We'll be right back. What is it, Goldilocks? Stanley, what do you think about Martin? Martin? Well, I'll tell you, he's, uh... He's, uh... <laughs> Fun of him, Stanley. I'm not making fun of him. I just don't know how to feel about a guy who's uh, very interested in you. You really think he is? Hey, he'd be nuts if he wasn't. Hey, Ma, what are you going to do if he uh, asks you to, uh, you know, marry him? Oh, I don't know. I wish your father was here. <laughs> he took care of all them important decisions. <laughs> I'm sorry, Stanley. Iris, talk about your surprises. Ollie in there is telling me, of all the ladies on the block, you got the best, the, uh, the best, uh, neck. Uh, the best, uh, throat. The, the best voice. Bingo! You're marvelous. You know something? We could make a wonderful, a wonderful uh, uh, duet. Uh, duet. Uh, and listen, since we're all here, this is the time to to uh, to, to discuss it. To, 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 to talk about it. Look, I'll tell you, this musical duet makes me think that something could lead to a permanent relation, uh, relationship. <laughs> what do you think, Ma? Now, now, nobody has to make any, any, uh, any quick decisions. Well, that's good, because there are certain things that we should know before my mother accepts you into her bosom. <laughs> well, uh, certainly, of course. For instance, we would like to know about your family background. On account of we made one mistake like that already. <laughs> also, uh, we would like to know about your state of health, both physical and financial, because we made... Both of them mistakes, too. He's right, Martin, you see, because marriage is a big step. It well, certainly is, Iris. In fact, I wasn't thinking of taking it. You said a permanent relationship. Oh, yes, yeah, I know. I said uh, permanent, and I, uh, but see, what I had in mind was more in terms of... Um, An engagement. Living together. <laughs> Everybody getting so excited. But just now, let me let me explain. There is nothing to explain. She's right. Come on, let me show you to the uh, to the uh... <laughs> door. Bingo! Wait a minute now. Martin 
Martin did not ask any of you to live with him. He asked me. Oh, Ma, you would not consider an indecent proposal. Olive, I don't get many proposals of any kind, so at least let me hear an indecent one. I want to talk to you later in your room, Mother. Listen, Iris, see, it's, it's strictly a matter of economics. See, when a widow under 60 remarries, then she loses all of her... All Watch of her, it. All of her social security. <laughs> see, but on the other hand, if we just uh, live together, but we could continue to collect both your social security and mine. You mean the government is encouraging senior citizens to live together <laughs> without benefit of clergy? Iris, Iris, I would never put... Well, that's the way it works out, Iris. I wonder if Billy Graham knows about this. I, I got a wonderful life planned. I, I want to I wanna travel. Travel? Oh, yeah, you know what I did? I, I put out, I saved up. I bought one of them little mobile trailer homes, you know? Oh. So I'm going to drive. I want to see... I want to see the Grand... Uh, the Grand Canyon. The Canyon. The Canyon. And the Rocky... Uh, the Rocky... Rocky... Uh, Graziano? Ra <laughs> Oh, what do you say, Iris? Come on, Iris. Let's drive off into the sunset together. Oh, it all sounds fine, Martin. <coughs> I'm afraid I have to say no. No? It's all right. It's all right, Iris. I, I understand. You, you got your own set of morals. Oh, it ain't the morals so much. I get car sick. <laughs> Hey, Mom, you know, I'm kind of glad that you didn't end up with that Martin. I'll bet he would have ended up sponging off us. <laughs> That's all I need. Another sponge. Well, I think Martin was very nice, even with his modern ideas and his loose ways. <laughs> Under different conditions, I might just uh, run off with him. Ma, you mean live in sin? At our age, we couldn't do nothing very sinful. <laughs> anyway, it's good to have you back making the meals again. Arthur, that's no way to talk about Olive's cooking. Hey, Ma, you know we love her. But last week she made something called Olive's Surprise. Stanley, I thought you liked that. I did, I did. But two hours after I ate it, it turned into Olive's Revenge. <laughs> celebrating an ten of great years of TV, how it was meant to be. And the party goes on all year. On the tenth of every month from January to October, you can watch ten episodes of the top ten antenna TV shows you voted for. This month, celebrate with ten back-to-back -back episodes of Alice. April 10th, starting at 5 Eastern, 2 Pacific, only on Antenna TV. Kiss my Korea.